Hello Aquarius! Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. Supportive Oracle Cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. Bump, bump, bump. I'm like... I just did Libras. I don't know why we're mentioning it in yours, but there might be something about a heads up about a person you're dealing with. I don't know why. I mean, you're both air signs, but I don't know why I'm so pulled for that, but I'm kind of pulled for that. So just keep that in mind. If there's something here or there's a person you're thinking about and you're just kind of like, I don't understand their deal, that may make sense to you. Let me know in the comments uh, if, if, that, if you do check that video out, if that actually worked or not if that really was connected to you or not. Like if it's pinging in your head like, hmm, maybe that would help. Let me know in the comments if that actually was the case or if it's just maybe I'm stuck on Libra at the moment. <laughs> but this reading here, this one's for Aquarius. So this is very Aquarius. We're in Aquarius energy. Okay. Um, faith. There's like, there's like a big energy here. Like everything's happening all at once. Um, I, I almost feel like I'm starting or I'm getting involved in a project and there's a lot happening all at once. There's a lot of beginnings happening, by the way. You got faith, right? So faith is on your side, like trying to work it out, trying to like all there's a lot of open ended. Like, I don't know what's going on. I feel like that's what's going. I'm going into this. I want to make the right decision, but there's something is really off here. We got to keep moving. We can't fix things the way we should. We got to keep moving though. That's coming in. Why is that coming in? Like there's a lot of confusion, but it, the faith is like other people here know what's going on. I hope they really do because a lot of this doesn't make sense to me. Um, there's resistance going on here as well. Like somebody doesn't, well, I don't want to say somebody. Like there's the energy of like not giving up. Things are a little weird. There's a little weird energy here. Some of the stuff that you're thinking doesn't fit, you are flat on, dead on with that. Some of the stuff does not fit. There's things showing up. There's people doing things that does not, it doesn't match the situation. It doesn't help the situation. I just feel like you're at a position where you're like, I don't even know. Like, I feel like you're at that point where you're like, some of this doesn't look like it fits and it doesn't make sense to me, but I don't really know. Like, maybe it does, but I don't see how. I feel like you're probably dead on. Like, the things you're looking at, like, I don't get why that's here. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, it's like if you if you work on a farm and somebody brings like a rack of clothes in, like a rack of suits, you're like, why is there a rack of suits in the field? Like, I don't understand. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't get it. Yeah, because it doesn't belong there. There's a lot of things here in this situation that don't belong, but I don't think you really have time to really work through that anyway. You're like, too much else going on. Why that's here? Don't know. Can't deal with it. Got much more important things got to do things that are more important first. Somebody else is going to have to handle that. Um, there's a lot coming in. I keep feeling like there's a lot going on. There's confusion, things that don't belong here, things that you, you're like, I can't deal with that. All right, so you're accepting what you can do when you're walking away what you can't. The energy is like, there's a lot. It's like, I feel like it's constantly going. Like, I'm trying to hold it together, and it's like, it's a lot. Um... I'm getting right off the bat. If, if this is going to fit, this is a situation where there's just like, you just got to do your best and keep moving and you're not, not everything's going to make sense. For some of you, I feel like you're going to watch this video and be like, I don't think that fits. And then t within two weeks, you're going to fall, bam, right into this. So keep it in mind. <laughs> if that happens, mate, just search your history and then wa maybe watch this video then. Um, <laughs> because it just happens fast and there's some confusing things. Right off the bat, something that gives you strength that I feel like most of you are naturally going to do anyway is like that I can do something about I'm going to handle that that I can't do anything about that I don't understand that over there even like the third thing over there like I don't even want to touch that with a 10-foot pole I'm going to center on what, what I can do then you're just kind of like walking away from that stuff that you just like I don't even know and you're just going to head into what you can handle what you can effectively make a difference with that's what the acceptance I feel with you. Like, I will go into what I can handle, and whatever that other stuff is is what that other stuff is. Um, at least at first. Because once you're there, and once you start actually getting your hands dirty and getting things going, 
you're going to pull in information. You're going to figure out what's going on. When you have more of a stable standing, I'm like, oh, okay, wait a minute. Why is that rack of suits here in the field? Like, that's dumb. Let me get that out of here. <laughs> like, at some point, you'll be like, all right, there's no reason for that. Get it out of here. Um, discernment in the environment. All of this in the beginning is really... It's too much. I don't... I, I, something is like, it's too much. Somebody planned improperly. Somebody did something off the wall. Uh, things are just coming together in a very unopportuned way. Um, discernment is other people... It's almost like a couple people are kind of like coming together like, this is a mess. Somebody needs to like organize this. Somebody needs to assess what's going on and why and organize it and get rid of the things that don't belong and help the, help the people doing what they need to do. So when this first starts, it's like somebody outside of you. It's outside, obviously. Somebody who's like, I don't know. I don't feel like this somebody is somebody really connected to you, but somebody else is adding in and saying, listen, all right, I'm, I'm going to assess everything. I'm going to prioritize everything. We're going to get rid of things we don't need, and we're going to accentuate the things we are actually making good on. This is coming in. A lot of confusion right in the beginning. Okay, release in the darkness. Darkness, I don't think of as a bad card. This is kind of like where things are not quite right, but they're starting to show the ability to go better. They're, sh they're starting to show some type of direction, kind of like, you know, you have, you're in that dark, you're in that darkness outside, but you can see some of the, some of where you're going with the moonlight, you can, you can see the, the basic faint path going forward, and you're like, well, all right, I kind of see where I should stay, uh, this is, I think this is where I want to go, and you're starting to see a direction here, it's starting to open up. The release is other people trying to assess and take things apart. Um, is the assessment out here? Yes, assessing is out here. Other people coming in and prioritizing and moving this out and pulling that in and moving things around, that's creating a whole new beginning. Um, assessing, beginnings, assessing. It's the beginning of assessing. Oh, oh okay, okay, I get it. This is going to be a long process. This isn't going to be just somebody coming in and saying, let me look at everything we got. This makes sense. That doesn't. It's not going to be just a one-time thing. This is going to go over a period of months is what I'm getting. Months? Like months. I feel like it's going to go over a period of months. Because something is just not right here. It's like the wrong things are here. The wrong things keep showing up. It's kind of like we're in the field. We're planting. We're doing that. And then all of a sudden, you know, you have a high school class showing up to watch what you're doing. You're like, what's up with that? Well, we just needed something to do. We thought, hey, why, why not watch what the farmers do? Um, this is, there's machines here. You got you can't just follow the machine. Machine can actually be dangerous. Stay away from the machine. Don't get in the way. Be careful where you are. If I can't see you, you could get hurt. Like, there's like, all right, actually, how about you just don't be here? <laughs> it sounded like a good idea, but you need to go. I mean, there's weird things like that popping up. I know that's an analogy, but I feel like literally it's kind of like almost like that type of thing happening. Like somebody shows up, we just want to watch, and it seems like it's okay at first, and you're like, no, no, that could be a problem. Either be distracting or dangerous or something. Like, you know, I'm sorry. It sounds like a good idea, but I don't think it is. I think it could be a problem for me or for you or for both of us. Uh, you have to leave. I'm sorry. And I feel like there's constantly things coming in. That's why this is lasting so long. That's why there, there's constantly assessing I feel like this is something where you're have to you're gonna to have to keep in contact with whoever's working it out with the discernment. Somebody seems to be the hub of this. You're gonna to have to communicate with them, can kinda of like listen. This high school class showed up and they wanted to watch and I was okay with it at first, but then I realized there could be really some danger here, so I sent them away. I'd really kind of like you to kind of field those things and kind of keep them off to the side. I don't think that's appropriate for people like that to be out here because they could actually get hurt. Okay, cool. You're staying in contact with that. It's a kind. It's a. It's a convoluted situation. I don't know. You have creation with the purity here. Don't overown. Don't overown. Don't overown the situation. Whoever it is that's discerning things and prioritizing and you know reevaluating and picking it apart. And does this belong? Does that not belong? If you don't want something around you or you feel like something doesn't match for you, move that away. But then, like, move it over so that this other person handles it and they do what they need to do with it. Don't put that on yourself to take the whole thing to fruition because I feel like that can backfire against you. Um, 
this purity card is a very interesting card to me because it's kind of like I feel like a lot of times it's warning. It's like it's a warning like don't try to be perfect because perfect perfection is a a perception. Like perfection is a perception. Like I have to say like there's there's so much white going on in this card. It usually jars me. I'm just kind of like wow. Like <laughs> like the 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 images on this card like sometimes it just kind of blows me out of the water. It just I have some adversity with it, my own personal thing, because I'm just like there's a lot, a lot of things here that it's just kind of like, it's just a warning. Like it's like it's giving you a heads up. Like, be aware of what you consider to be perfect and what actually is best for the situation. Um, the world isn't a perfect place, but it's not supposed to be. It purposely has contrast. It's kind of like. I've given the analogy of like the blank canvas. The white canvas is perfect because there's no blemishes. But in order to have a piece of art, you have to put color on it. You have to put shades and this color and that color and darkness and light. And all of that together is what actually makes perfection. It's like purity is just kind of, purity is literally blank. Like there's nothing there. Like purity is like, it's very boring and there's nothing, like there's nothing there. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Like, it's usually this card, the way I interpret it, is like, a, it's a warning. Like, what are you really looking at? How are you really feeling about life? What is actually right here? That's why I'm getting when something a little weird happens on your side, whoever's feeling all that stuff, just push it over to them. Let them handle it. Um, when I get creation and your power of creation, whatever you're owning and what you're what you're doing, own that. But don't don't try to perfectly fit in with everything else. Do your job, do your thing together, put your thing together the best you can. That's cool. But anything external, like give it over to whoever this hub is and let them handle it. Because I feel like it's going to become probably quite the circus at some point. Just keep that in mind. And this will actually, you know, save your sanity at some point. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Now, hopefully that goes well for you and you don't get caught up in this moment where because that purity card is so weird, but I'm feeling like one of the reasons is kind of like trying to help other people deal with adversities or problems or things that aren't going right. Seeing like, see, yeah, those suits weren't supposed to be here in the middle of the field. Like, I don't know why they'd be here anyway. And seeing that happen to someone else and being like, and telling them, hey, get rid of those. You're not going to need those. Just have, just have them sent away. Don't see that's something you don't want to do because let just say, instead of saying, get rid of those, you don't want those, remove them, say, talk to whoever this person is, talk to Mr. or Mrs. or person discernment here, talk to the discernment person, let them know that they're there and have them do what they need to do with them. That's what you should say, if that makes sense. Instead of saying, you know, those suits, you don't need those either. Get them out of here. Just get them out of here. Don't, don't, don't do that road. Say, talk to person of a discernment, talk to that person, tell them they're there and then they'll take care of it for you. That's the road you want to do with that. Because I feel like that goes easier. That, there's weird things happening here constantly. <sighs> Resilience is coming in. The situation is going to get heavier. It gets more confusing is what I'm getting. It gets a lot more confusing, which is why even though you could technically be right saying you're not going to need those suits, you can just get rid of them, just get them out of here. Instead of doing that, you don't want to say, like you don't want to tell them what to do that, not because you could be potentially wrong. That's not why. Because you want to get them used to going to person of discernment, whoever that person is, they start at that point, they keep doing that. If you help them that first time, they're going to rely on you to keep helping them. And they're going to keep coming to you with their questions. That's where you're going to really have a lot. Because there's going to be a lot of other people who seem to follow suit with that. You're going to have a lot of more pop-up, a lot more pop-up things on your own situation. This is a lot. You got a lot going on here. So if this is hitting, forever this is hitting for, you got a lot going on. The Seven of Pentacles with the King of Wands is telling me this is going to stay like this for a while. This is a perpetuating situation. This is going to go like this for a while. I'm getting that months feel again. Months. It's going to go like this for a while. It's going to hold on for a while. You're going to have to do the best you can with it. Again, why you want to keep pushing people off. Like Go to see the person of discernment. They'll work it out. They'll figure it out. They'll tell you what to do with that. You don't want to take that on yourself. Even if you know the answer, always push it over to this person of discernment that way people won't come to you with extra things that like you're going to be busy enough as it is and once they get used to coming to you they're going to keep coming to you and it's kind of like it gets heavier and heavier um 
I was like, there's a lot. <laughs> I'm still going through a lot. Sovereignty with attraction coming in. People are feeling just as overwhelmed as you. And they're going to think you're handling it very well. I don't know if you're going to feel like you're handling it very well. Technically, I feel like you're keeping afloat and you're doing your best. So you're doing, you are technically doing well. I'm just kind of like, I, I don't know if you're going to be agreeing with that. That's all I'm like questioning. Because you are doing well, but you agreeing with that statement and feeling like you're doing well, that's up, that's up to interpretation. The thing is, people are going to be very attracted to you because they're going to feel like they can that you can bail them out of a problem because they're feeling overwhelmed. Again, this is why you want to keep pushing over to the person of discernment. This will burn you out at some point if people keep doing this to you. Because they feel like the people coming to you, for some reason, you just you feel an obligation to do your best. Um, it's not just any bum off the street. Not that we want to use that analogy. But it's not just like nobody, you know, it's somebody, they're, they're people of significance to you. Yeah, I don't really like that I, analogy I used a moment ago, but there you go. It's not like it's some person that doesn't mean anything to you. These are people who do mean something to you, and they're attracted to you, and you're kind of like, well, I do want to help them, so. Uh. Um, you got unexpected coming in in the environment with the, with the uh, Prince of Cups. People, like, believe in you. I almost feel like some of you are like, oh, do they know? Um, because if there's something that needs to be said, you'll say it. That's why. If something's... And people are frustrated. They're frustrated. And they're like, let's let's go hang out with the Aquarius. The Aquarius will say something. <laughs> so uh, be aware of that. This is... People have appreciation for you. Um, I almost feel like you're kind of like, really? Okay. These are people who maybe you even have had like some differences with in the past, but the fact that you will actually open your mouth and say something when something isn't right, that's why they're kind of warming up to you. They do appreciate that. Even if they've had some like less than ideal conversations in the past with you, they do respect that when something needs to be said, you will say it. Um, pick your battles wisely. Not that you don't know that anyway, but um, the world, not the world, the tower card with the eight of pentacles. Um, pick your battles wisely. There's a lot going on here. I, th I feel like you want to have private conversations. Like if it's with the person of discernment, especially, you want to have private conversations with that person. You're going to need to say some things. You're going to need to get some answers. But if you make it more private, the person of discernment is more likely to stay more favorable towards you. <laughs> if you embarrass the person of discernment, you may end up creating a new hurdle for yourself that you don't really need. I'm just saying. Because there are things you need to say. There are answers you need to get. Just think about when and where you're going to say it. Um, and then if you have to pass on information to other people after, that's one thing. But... That's, I feel like that's why I'm saying choose your battles wisely. It's more about when and where you say things. Because you do need answers. Uh, but the tower card coming in with the eight of pentacles is telling me there's going to be a lot of problems that just... It's like I feel like I'm seeing a, a, a row of towers just boom, boom, boom. And I'm getting like... It's, it seems like it's becoming the norm, which is... I don't even know what to say about that. So they're saying if you pick your battles wisely, you'll get the answers you need... But you also want to keep the person of discernment more more sympathetic or more accommodating to you. So if you do this the right way, and you know what that is, like you fully know how your energy works. And I'm getting like, I know Aquarians, and it's funny because they kind of pick on me. They're like, we know how we are. Like, like you're not telling us anything new. We know that we push the buttons. Like, you know how you are. I don't know. Like, if you're really a part of that Aquarian energy, you know how to push the buttons when you want to, You but you get answers from them. So... I just know one that was picking on me for it. They're like, oh, don't worry. We know how we are. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> so you know how to use your energy wisely. Um, uh, what else do we got here? Trust. Trust is coming out on your side. This whole ending spot. Does this ever really end? It goes into the next phase. Okay. So we're, we're, I don't know about ending, but it's going into another phase. Um, 
at some point, this seems to kind of level out. It's still very busy, but it seems like the person of discernment... I don't know if it's going to be this. It depends on your situation. Either that person's going to kind of like morph into a different role or somebody else is going to come in and help them. It hits a level of like like dependability. I don't know how to say this. Like it's very busy. Things aren't really like I don't want to say that. I don't want to say they're solid, but you know, you can depend on if that happens this person will take care of it or if that happens this other person will take care of it. Like there seems to be like a camaraderie like when this happens this person does that, when that happens this person does this. It's a little bit crazy still, but still people know like people have gotten a hold of the situation like oh that's happening let me send so and so over oh this is happening let me send so and so over it's not frazzling people like it was before and the trust is kind of like it's a little crazy still but yeah I, i'm used to it at this point i feel like that's this like that rack of clothes shows up in the middle of the field and i'm just like yeah that's happened before or something else shows up like you know somebody shows up in like you know a bunch of stuffed animals shows up in a box in the middle of the field and you're like okay yeah somebody misdirected something just have them come back and get it and take it away like you know like yeah this has been happening things like this have been happening and you you're not frazzled by it anymore um the king of pentacles the three of pentacles and the three of swords is coming in there's still there's still like I want to say screw ups. Things are still going weird. Every now and then it's just kind of like something goes wrong, but at this point it's just kind of like it's becoming more ex expected. Things just keep going a little wonky every now and then, but it doesn't mean we're gonna stop. Yep, that's not supposed to be here. Somebody will take care of that. Yeah, that didn't work out quite as it was supposed to. That's okay. We're doing well enough. Um, the Three of Swords is very interesting to me because it's kind of like yeah, there's things. This, it's going into the next phase. At this point, people are getting used to it, and other people have to come in and be like, wait, why does this keep going wrong? That's not your phase is what I'm getting in the sense of like figuring out what do we need to do to change the whole system. But I feel like there's a, there's like an air of kind of like that. That's an air of discontent, kind of like I don't like this, but I don't have control of that, so that keeps happening. It doesn't seem to be causing you damage because you got protection from it. But at the same time, whatever it is that's going wrong, it's kind of like we really need to fix this. This shouldn't be happening constantly like this. But in this part of the phase, you're kind of like, I'm used to it, though. It just it keeps happening, but it's not phasing me at this point. Other people are going to be looking into this. We got the Queen of Cups with the Emperor. And I feel like the reason for the Queen of Cups being here is basically I feel like it's hidden from you. Other people are coming in to assess what's going on and why things are going a little kaflooey every now and then. Why do we keep having these problems? Why do we get these random things showing up in the middle of the field? We now had a desk full of lamps show up in the middle of the field. Why would anybody even why would anybody even think that should go there? Why would that even get that far? Like why how does it get this far before anybody questions like why are we delivering that to the middle of the field? Why is that even happening? Um other people are taking care of that, but they're very quiet about it. Um they're very quiet about it. I'm getting, don't, that's one of those things, you don't want to touch that with a 10-foot pole. I don't know what's going on with that. It's a general read, but I'm getting like a really like, I don't know if somebody's, I don't know. They're, they're telling me it can go many different ways. Don't touch it with a 10-foot pole and this, just go with it. Just roll with it at this point. Uh, that's an answer. I'm getting that's literally an answer. You may think you want, but if you find out the answer, it's not going to make you feel good. You're not going to like it. Let somebody else figure it out. Let somebody else correct it. It will be corrected because these weird things that keep happening, there's a there's something behind that. That will be dealt with at some, at some point. Just roll with it because they're not giving me an answer about why because it feels like there's a negative energy to it and that's going to be purged however that means but that's not for you to worry about that's what I keep getting it will be handled though I don't know it's a general read roll with it that's the best I can give you all right but I guess I think this whole read is about like helping you keep your sanity hopefully hopefully it helps in that respect so I'll shut this down here and get this out hopefully this helps Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.